Hello my lovies! Welcome back to my channel. Today we are grubbing down on some yummy sushi from one of my faves ba spaces. <laughs> I want to say spaces. Places. <laughs> it's called Oishi Sushi. I'll put their info down in the description below. If you're ever in the Queens area, feel free to stop by. Their sushi is always fun. <laughs> In the background, because she wants to make her presence known, is my niece <laughs> and my sister. Um, so if you hear noise, yes, it's them. Um, we have here, we have a regular spicy crab roll, which is for my sister. Um, some pork goisa. Uh, this is their special, these two are their special rolls. This is the oishi special. And this has just a shrimp tempura avocado and spicy crab meat with some crunch i think that's it and this one is their <laughs> volcano roll um and this is i always forget i don't know why i forget you said volcano roll yeah i know but i'm trying to say what it has in it it has crab meat, avocado, uh, I don't know. I'll let you know once I taste it, guys. I always forget. <laughs> um, and then I'm trying for the first time their chicken yaki noodles. Um, but yeah, let's get it in because you already know your girl's starving. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the fam bam. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button, turn that post notification um, you know what to do. Holla at your boo. You know what to do. Okay, let's see. Here's your chopsticks. Oh, thank you. All right, all right, all right. Let's try these noodles first. Because they look bummed out. Look at that. Uh, you know, you want to bite. Take a bite, take a bite. Oh, I'm giving you guys the first bite. This is regular sushi. Mm hmm. They're all regular sushi. Mm hmm. You know, fire. Bomb.com. <clears throat> They're good. Can I try them? Mm hmm. I love thin noodles. I got chicken. Good. Oh, these are really good. It was salty. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Good stuff. Good stuff. This place is an authentic Must Japanese be. place, people. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's open up my spicy mayo. Mm. And I need one of the soy sauces. Mm. They're good, right? That's a good spicy caramel. Yeah. I love this place. This place is one key thing about sushi. It has to be from a fresh place. If it is not fresh, it's not good at all. All right. Okay, so this is... Crab avocado cream cheese and it has and it's fried and it has two special chef sauces on top. Which I think is eel sauce and uh some mayo -y sauce. Eel sauce. Yeah, I love eel sauce on my It's made out of eel? I don't know, I guess, yeah. Mm. Yeah. So bomb. No follow? I'll try one. I'm really on. <clears throat> and this one, this roll is my absolute favorite. Shrimp tempura, spicy crab meat, and avocado. You don't like the volcano one? No. Mm. Here's the cream cheese in it. Throws me off. But I'm picky like that, so. 
I am by this is good. It's good old spicy if I could focus correctly. The rice is too bright. Rice is bright. Mm-hmm. These noodles are good. Mm-hmm. So how are my lovey doing today? Welcome to another edition of No Makeup Monday. Drinking some good old agua. That's your thing. We should make that into a national thing, you yeah? know? No Makeup Monday. Mm -hmm. I'm damn. Let females feel like embraced by carrying their natural beauty around instead of covering it up. Which actually, correct me if I'm wrong gentlemen who are watching but guys actually prefer women that don't wear makeup mm -hmm. because it shows their natural beauty their confidence but correct me if i'm wrong comment down below what you prefer i mean makeup does make you go pow wow though you know i mean don't get me wrong i love makeup i love putting it on but one thing about me it's either i am full face or no face like I won't do like, oh, let me just put a little bit of concealer, you know, to cover up my pimples and I'll go out. No, it's either you get no makeup at all or you get a full face. There's no betweens with me. That's what I do. I put, I'm in between. I put mm -mm. a little bit. That whole contouring thing, like, I'm not patient for that. I love contouring. I love contouring. I love eyeshadows. Mm -hmm. The sushi is so good. Mm. Let's try some of the gold stuff. I want to try this one. What? That one's good, right? Mm -hmm. Their goisa is so good. Mm hmm. Mm. They cook it just right. I love it because it's so thin, the wrapper. <coughs> That's because you chug it. Like. You want to give her some noodles? So, we're going to talk about today's story time, or topic, you okay? is going to be crazy exes. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I think we all have them. And if you haven't. And lucky Consider for you. yourself lucky. And <laughs> <laughs> lucky for you. Or just crazy people you've dated in general. It doesn't really have to be an ex. Maybe someone that you went out with one time, two times, and they were really freaking crazy. Or like to call FB, you know, which are fuck boys or fuck girls. Remember, I'll start it off with, I think this is the craziest person I met in such a short period of time. You remember that guy... That Dominican guy who I met, like, waiting for the bus one time. And then he was like, oh, he was like, can I see you? Can I see you? Just, just I just want to see you poke your head out through the window. <laughs> <laughs> you remember him? No. Well, that's because, you know, my brain was free. All right, so I was waiting for the bus one day. And, um... This guy approaches me or whatever, right? And he's like, oh, he was like, um, I was driving by and I saw you and, and I had to, like, come back. I think I vaguely remember that. And I had to come back because you're just so beautiful, whatever, yada, 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 right? You know the spiel. Oh, nobody saw my sushi's fall. Oh, my sushi's falling apart. <laughs> he's wishing bad upon me, guys. <laughs> he 
He's watching this right now, throwing brew head. I at know. You. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, excuse me. So, um, <laughs> he gives his whole spiel. She's trying to do her burp. He gives his whole spiel. Um, he's like, I would love to take you out to dinner sometime. Can I get your number? So, I was like, um, I'm not sure, you know, I'm not really, I was really never the type to give my number out, like, in the street like that. And you were kid. younger. And I was young. Mm -hmm. I was like. You were in your teens. No. No, I was 18. Yeah, because before I was you had 18 a car, because I was. A bus. Yeah, I was 18 because I remember I was going to my college uh -huh. for one of my classes and that's why I was waiting for the, that for that bus so I was like you know what let me just do it because sometimes I'm anti-social I'm actually I had broken up like for good for good with my ex that I was like on and off with for such a long time which is another crazy which is another <laughs> crazy so I was like you know what I was like I, I need something to, like, get over him. You know, like, so whatever. I did it. I gave him my number, and my bus was coming. So what kind of already gave a red flag was I was telling him that my bus was coming, and he was telling me, oh, well, um, it's okay. I'll, I'll take you to class. And I'm like, I don't know you. I'm not going to get into your car. Like, are you crazy? So I was like, no, it's okay. I'm going to take the bus. So, I give him my number, and I'm like, all right, I gotta go. So, I, you know, whatever, get on the bus, and he starts texting me right away. Um, he's like, oh, you're so beautiful, blah, 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 all this nonsense. So, um, I, I wasn't answering fast enough or something, I forgot what, because sometimes I don't answer fast enough, um, <laughs> I'm a slow texter, right? So, whatever. We're having, like, conversation. I just had, like, one class, I remember, and I came home. So, he's like, oh, I just so happened to be driving around that same area, and I stopped by and see you. And I was like, um... No, you can't. Like, I'm busy. I'm I'm doing stuff. Um, one thing about me, I hate pushy people. Like, if I say no, that's it. It's no, respect it, and keep it moving. That's that's all. I'm very simple like that. Like, don't keep pressing me, pressing me, and pressing me because I'm just going to get annoyed. And I'll tell you off. Which is what I did. So he kept pressing me. He was like, oh, he's like, I just want to, he's like, I just want to see your beautiful face. Just stick your head out through the window. <laughs> and I was like, what? Creepy. I'm like, no, I'm not going to stick my head out through the window, you psychopath. And it turned me so off. I ended up cursing him out. And I was like, no, I was like, you're psycho. You're crazy. Like, who says something like that? Like, reread what you just sent me. <laughs> And so um, he was like, um, he was like, oh, and then his true colors came out. And he's like, oh, what? He's like, I'm crazy. He's like, I'm not crazy. He's like, you're fucking ugly. You're a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> like this guy, mind you, when he approached me, he said I was so beautiful. He had to come around the block. Okay. <laughs> and now you, you, now you, mom. Um, mm -hmm. Mom. Yeah. I don't know, in a couple of hours, I guess I changed. <laughs> I'm fucking ugly. So, I'm just, like, cracking up. And I remember telling him, like, when when guys say that, one, I know it's not true. Not to be cocky or anything. It's just, I know it's not true. Guys just are speaking, when they feel, guys are so prideful that when you hit them below the belt, they want to come at you 10 times harder because they're hurt. So the fact that I called him psycho, it really irked the nerve in him. Because it was the truth. Because it was the truth that he wanted to, to make me feel bad. 
So, then he starts calling me fat, that I'm a cow. <laughs> so, I was like, okay, but you like this cow, so moo moo. Like, <laughs> You wanted the milk, motherfucker. I don't know what else to tell you. I was just like, okay. So, then he sends me a picture of his penis. <laughs> like, you just finished calling me ugly and a cow, and now you're sending me a picture of your penis? So I'm like, oh my god. I'm like, I'm really like in trouble. And this is the last time she ever gave her number at the bus stop. <laughs> so I finally was, I t told my sister, and like I said before, my sister's the rah rah type. She's like my bodyguard. So she was like, what? So she calls him and she's like, you're so stupid because you sent a picture of your penis. Um, and she lied. She said I was underage. She said, oh, you send your picture to a penis to someone that's underage. And you could tell because you have a birthmark by your penis that we could go to the cops and you could get arrested. So he starts getting super, super scared. And he's like, oh, I'll never contact her again. Never contact her again. I promise. Whatever. Homeboy ends up disappearing. I think like a week later, I'm waiting for the bus again. And I'm, like, on my phone, whatever, in my own zone. And this car stops in front of me and honks. So I look up. And when I tell you my face got pale, <laughs> it was him. And I was, like, I just, like, froze. Like, you know when you freeze and you're just, like, holy shit. Like, is this guy going to kill me right now? Like, so... I looked at him and I'm like, yes. And he goes, <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> and I was just like, okay. And I like look off or whatever, right? So he drives off and I'm thinking I'm safe, right? <laughs> so again, I'm on my phone, whatever. And I think I was telling a friend of mine what was going on. Um... All of a sudden, I hear someone go, and then I feel like <laughs> a hand here, right on my cheek. And again, I get pissed. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm going to die today. Like, it's a wrap. So he had literally, I turn around, and I'm like this. <laughs> and again, he goes, Como estas, mi amor? my lips right and i'm like don't ever touch me again <laughs> so there was a lady thank god standing right like a little farther away from me waiting for the bus as well so i guess she like saw and she like caught on because i'm telling you i was pale like a bitch looked like she was gonna pass out so I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna like, this guy's gonna freaking, he's crazy. <laughs> like, that motherfucker's crazy. Like, bro. we never went out. Nothing. We never, nothing. I just gave this guy my phone number. So he's like, so this lady comes, right? And she's like, are you okay? And I'm like, this guy won't leave me alone. <laughs> So the guy's like, oh, no, no, no. She's lying. She's lying. She's lying. She's lying. <laughs> so the bus comes. Fucking psycho. And I'm like, oh, my God, thank God. So then he sees the bus coming. And then he's like, oh, I'll call you. And I'm like, no, you won't. <laughs> and I got on the bus, whatever. But he never called me, thank God. And he got the point that I was serious and that I was going to call the cops on his ass. And then, oh, it doesn't stop there. Like, two months later, me and a friend, an old friend of mine, went to the club, right? And she's, like, gone to the bathroom for, like, a while. And I'm like, what happened to her? Brother? She ends up coming back to me and she's like, Oh my god, I met such this cute ass guy. Cause he was cute, I'm not gonna lie. Is this your thought ex friend? Yeah. Mm. So she said, Oh my god, I met this cute ass guy, whatever. Blah blah. Um 
and he's gonna give us a ride home right so i'm like um i don't know him i'm like no so she's like no 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 you look she's like and so i'm like who is it when she points over and i turn i'm like <laughs> it was him i'm like of course she would go for your sloppy seconds i'm like <laughs> i'm like oh no no, no you, it's not that one that you're talking about oh and i'm like how how long have you been talking to him and she's like oh i met him when i went to the bathroom whatever blah blah, blah. and i'm like let me guess he told you that you're the most beautiful woman in this world <laughs> and i was i'm telling you i was scared because when he saw me he did one of those like you know one of those crazy smirks when they're like <laughs> i was like oh my god and then she's like yeah how did you know i was like bitch run <laughs> i was like bitch run and she's like oh my god no but he doesn't seem like that i'm like no 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 i'm telling you i'm telling you i'm gonna give you a play-by-play -play of what he's gonna do because someone that's crazy like that this is not the first time they've done it this is their this is their book this is how they go this is what they do <laughs> they go around and they approach women the same exact way and they follow this like to a t so again man <laughs> so then um I was like, so then she's like, no, nah, no, nah. she didn't want to listen, right? I said, listen, I warned you. I warned you. And and I'm telling you, don't, I'm going to hate to have to say it, but I'm going to tell you I told you so when it happens. So she's like, okay, you know, whatever. So I was like, well, I'm going home. You do what you, whatever it is you got to do. So when we were walking out, he comes and he's like, Oh, you're, you're not gonna say hello <laughs> so i turned and i'm like i don't know you and i kept walking so he got pissed and he started ba bad mouthing me to my friend and he was like oh he's like your ugly ass friend that i don't know why she acting mad conceited because she ugly and yada 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 so then she told me this the next day and i was like you see the signs are right there like why is he bad mouthing me if he doesn't know me and who is this friend that still stood next to him listening? So, whatever. So I was hey like, guys, okay. Bitch. I'm like, look. I'm like, look what I'm going to tell you. I'm like, this is what he's going to do next. He's going to tell you to pop your head out through the window. <laughs> <laughs> right? And she's like, she's like, stop it. She's like, he can't be that crazy. I said, okay. I said, just wait for it. He's going to ask you to pop your head out through that damn window. And when he does, you're going to think of me. <laughs> so surely enough two days later she calls me she's like you're not gonna fucking believe what happened to me excuse my language <laughs> i said what happened did you pop your head out the window yet <laughs> she's like she's like not only did he tell me to pop my head out through the window i said what he sent you a penis picture she's like yes <laughs> I was like, mm-hmm. I'm like, and then what? When you told him no, he, let me guess, he called you fat. He called you ugly as hell. <laughs> She's like, yes! <laughs> I said, I told you so. I told you so. Because he's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he's freaking crazy. Yo, who is this nigga? I wish I would have seen him. After that. I never saw him again. Never saw what him again. What club was this in? Amnesia? Jubilee. Oh, Jubilee. That was when Jubilee was open. After that, well, the club did ended up shutting down. I never, but I never went back. I was like, I, I can't afford to see this guy <laughs> because he's really <laughs> crazy. Um. Yeah. I, I. He just totally like went go, what, and I'm what, like, was he Dominican. Oh, yes, he was Dominican. And crazy, yeah, he was really crazy, and I didn't even go out on a date with him. Like, I didn't go out on a date with him, I didn't go out for a cup of coffee. Like, I literally just gave him my number at a bus stop. Um, <laughs> he went ham on me. I don't know, I was just like, holy crap. Yeah, but he had to have been, like, the craziest. Like, to the point where I was, like, scared, scared that I was going to get killed. Yeah. Oh, well. 
No, there was one that was more worse than that. But he was a con artist, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just. That's why I tell people all the time. You have to be so careful who you let in because after that experience, I never gave my phone number out. I started, I was like, oh, you want to contact me? You could contact me through IG. Um, or I had this app called um, Kick that you didn't give your phone number out. It was a username you used. I would say, if you want to talk to me, download that. And you could talk to me through that. But phone number wise, I didn't give out my phone number after that. I was, I was like traumatized. I was like walking out of my house for like a week, like looking around like. <laughs> Because I thought he was going to come out and go, <laughs> and <again. laughs> that was like some scary movie shit right there. Uh-uh. I don't understand why people had to be so crazy. I say people because I know there's women out there that are, that are just as crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, just as crazy. Mm-mm. So. That's funny. Women, y'all do the same ish. This goiza is good, right? Mm -hmm. um, what other funny one do I have for you guys? Well, it's funny now, but back then when it was happening, it was not funny. <laughs> mm. Happen like the the other ones were like people are jaded in general. I don't really have like crazy crazy exes, right? No. Well, I think the most craziest. I think we have, like, the typical, like... <coughs> yeah, like, jealousy, you jealousy, know? Jealousy, come back when you can't have them anymore. Like, you know? I'll never forget this one time. This was when I was younger, when I was dating my ex. That was, like, on and off for, like, such a long time. He, um, he used to do this thing where he had to go to bed on the phone with me to make sure that I was going to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> crazy! That's crazy. So... I would be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, I was younger, so I wanted to go out. And he was always, like, old school minded. Not that he was old, because he was only five years older than me. Five, six years older than me. But he was already such, like, such a grandpa that he didn't want to do anything. So he was, um, one time. Thank you. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to go to sleep. And this was when, um, you know, iPhones had already came out. So I was like, um, so, you know, you could FaceTime or whatever. So I was like, yeah, I was like, I'm going to go to sleep. I'm so tired. You're, you're cutting off my face here. <laughs> oh, no. no. So oh, no. I was like, oh, um, I'm so, like, I'm so tired. I just want to go to sleep early. And he's like, he was like, oh, um. He's like, okay. He's like, so go to sleep. And I was like, yeah. I was like, but, you know, I was like, my phone's going to die. I have to put it to charge, right? But it was a lie because it was, I remember it was a summer night and I wanted to go out with my sister and a friend of ours. So, um. Where were we going? To the height. Mm -hmm. So, he was like, okay. He's like, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Whatever. We're in the car. And, you know, we have loud music on, and we're all freaking laughing and talking ish. And all of a sudden, I hear, like, you know when you hear, like, a hello, right? Like, you hear something minimized. I'm like, I'm like, what the hell? So I'm, like, looking all around me, because I hear, like, a muffled voice, but I can't really understand it. So I'm, like, looking, looking. And then I look at my phone. <laughs> and the idiot. I was on freaking FaceTime with him. <laughs> <laughs> and 
and he was screaming hello like so i could look at my phone and i was like oh my god you know you know that that little thing that says in that moment she knew she fucked up <laughs> that's exactly what happened to me i was like oh my god oh my god it's a wrap so what ex was this um Singer? yeah okay so i'm like oh my god so i hang up right and he starts calling me non-stop calling and texting me he's like if you don't pick up the facetime right now he's like there's gonna be a problem and i'm like oh my god i'm like oh my god what do i do i'm like freaking out in the car <laughs> And I'm like, and I'm probably like, oh, just fucking ignore him. Yeah, she's like, oh, just just turn your phone off. And I'm like, no, I'm not gonna turn my phone off. It makes it worse. <laughs> so I finally call him, and then he's like, you're a freaking liar. Forget about it. I he must have called me like every name in the book. Oh my god, he's like, you're a cheater. And I wasn't <laughs> cheating. I swear. I literally, he just yeah. didn't want. He just didn't believe in me going out and having a good time without me talking to someone. That's literally how crazy he was and how he thought. But I'm the type of person where I could go out and if I want to socialize, I'll socialize. Or if I go out with my friends, I literally just talk to my friends. I won't talk to strangers. <laughs> like, that's just my personality. So, he was like, oh you're cheating on me and i'm like i'm not even cheating like i literally just wanted to go out with my sister and a friend like i i trust me like i'm not and he was like no 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 it was so bad i was like oh my god never again bro now that you think about it though you know why he was doing that well yeah i know now he was doing that because he was really the one that was cheating and you know whatever but you know when you're young and you're in love and i'm gonna put it in quotes because i I did love him, but I know at, at a certain point that love died and it turned into just, just um, like, an obsession. You know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't love. It was, like, more like I'm obsessed with this person and I'm infatuated with them. That's what it was. So, you know, it is what it is. You'll live and you'll learn. Mm-mm. <laughs> mm, I'm so full. I finished all of that roll. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, my lovies. Don't forget. Stay away from psychos. <laughs> Stay away from psychos. <laughs> Give this video two big thumbs up. If you had a psycho, leave your story down below. I would love to hear it. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend to join the fam fam. And until next time, remember, let's spread positive vibes, good laughs, and yummy eats. Bye. Bye.